Serenium T here, and welcome to another guild. Thank you to the developer for the code for the game. Uh, we're here today to check things out. It launched on Early Access on March 27th, and it is a roguelike type style game. And let's go. Far beneath the land and the very ground we walk upon was the kingdom of Gaia. Brilliant kingdom of engineers and inventors who were our greatest allies in ages past. We aided each other through conquest, trade, and research. Through plague and ruin, through victory and prosperity. However, our friendship shattered once the guidance discovered the heretical secret of immortality. This grave sin left us no choice but to steal the path to the world forever. But now there are rumors of a deadly, gruesome plague on the West Knot outskirts. A pestilent calamity that threatens to destroy our kingdom. That's 500 years after the seedling of the underworld. The king and his royal council have created the Nether Guild. A guild for delving far underground. They summoned you, a noble, to assemble a team of loyal expeditionaries. Retrieve a cure from our ancient allies. Our only hope. Welcome to Wesnor. The king orders the assemble a group of expeditionaries to send deep into the world underground and fetch a cure to the ravenous and distant plague from the ancient guidance below. In order to assemble and supply an initial crew, you've been given 75 crowns. Fair enough. We see some tutorial problems about Nether Girls gameplay and core mechanics. Learn and bitch think about five and seven minutes. Yeah. For the hold or click tutorial buttons. Uh, Holding is recommended to avoid misclicks. I prefer clicking. Tutorial still a work in progress. Again, this is early access, so. But it should cover all the basics of gameplay and then some. Any feedback, please let me know. Also, please note that Nether Guild saves automatically, like Iron Map mode in other games. You may save and quit at any time. First up, we should hire a few characters to go on an expedition underground. We can do that at the guild building. Welcome! Here you can hire a team of characters to explore the underworld. I recommend hiring all four characters for your first expedition. Higher, 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 higher. Back. Next up, we should head to the market and buy some supplies for our expedition. Oh, market. Here you can restock on supplies before you send underground. They can make all the text in this the pixely text, but I prefer readability. Market buying logs. Firewood logs are used to construct campfires. Resting and eating at campfires is the only way to heal when you're exploring underground. Prefer I recommend buying firewood logs and turkey leg before the expedition. Bye. Bye. We are now broke. So... Parsnip. Store for health. Additional speed lasts until your next meal. Good job! Now that we've bought some supplies in the market and hired a few characters in the field building, we're ready to head on deep on the ground through the Underworld Gate and start making our way deep below. Alright. First exploration. Unknown standing, one commoner standing, minimum standing, zero. The crowds are gathered and expedition over the big event, automatically selected. For the underground for the first time. Proceed! With some mines into his entrance to a deep and ancient mine for the next before the guy in era and the edge of the long ancient train route. And those with dangerous may lurk here. Alright, to begin the expedition, select who goes and who stays. You drag characters from the roster to your right automatically filling button to choose the top four in your roster. Like all four. Uh, auto fill. I don't feel like doing all that work, so we're just gonna auto fill because we only have the four anyway. Person underground, don't forget to cook characters with a, a character of firewood logs and props food. You can take items with a shift and click two. Um. Okay, we got our items. Let's descend. 
Gameplay in Nether Guild is divided into two parts. The first is the overworld, where you can hire characters, buy equipment, and prepare for expeditions. The first, second, is the underground. I can't read. Where exploration and combat take place. Uh, camera rotation. All right, Q and E to rotate the camera. Got it. Um, try to move the camera around. Arrow keys, left control keys. So I also use the middle mouse button. All right, so I can hold like that or just use that. And then control key to reset the camera petition. Camera petition. Yes. All right, click on tile. Try moving to it. Got it. I also use WASD keys to move around, even diagonally. Then you press F to toggle whether the rest of your party follows your current character. Try it out. Move around a little bit more. Follow me. Got it. Ending your turn. At times, you may want to switch between characters or end their turn. Most direct ways to do it is simply hit the end turn button at the bottom of the screen, pressing space. Also, click on characters and switch to them while well, out of combat. Try it. End the current character's turn. Next, often end your character's turn too. I guess I can't control the tree. Finally, let's open the inventory. I will open up your inventory or press the button. Remind you're in combat, you can only open inventory of the current character or in the adjacent characters. Okay. That opens that. Well done! Something, something, something. That just kind of went on its own. When combat starts, all units in battle roll initiative. Roll the initiative is a random number between 1 to 4 plus the unit's initiative stat. The higher the result, the earlier a unit moves in combat. You can check rolls by examining the dungeon log at the bottom left of the screen. Combat and abilities. Be sure they click on attacks, read the description, and aim around to see the range. What's their range? What's that? Oh, I can't. Right there. And we'll do that button. On you. Apologies if there's any noise in the background. Okay. You, I guess I could just press one, huh? Good, be fine. Um, you move there. Press one. You're dead. Where's your. Oh, you can just go pew! Peter's is stunned. No, he's stunned. Okay, so I have night only have knights twenty of those. Okay. Oh, makes sense. I have a limited number of arrows. Does this do shield bash? We only attack one bashing or four slashing. Okay, that is fine. That's just gonna be a limit, huh? What does this do? Track. Doesn't end turn. It reveals enemies in 12 tile radius for one turn. Is that just everyone? Okay. Um. I wanna. No, oh, I wanna use this other. Wanna move? Oh, cool down two turns. Okay, okay. I get it now. I get it now. Let me turn. No, Stefan, the cat is stunned. Okay. Boom. What are these bandits doing on the ground? Wasn't this place closed off? He's last. That's something. No. One of these, well, it's clear the ground may come across 
characters, items, or even events that you can interact with out of combat. Often these provide bonuses, or the opposite of bonuses, analysis, give more information or affect the story of the Nether Guild. When interacting, you certain beneficial options may be unlocked or influenced by the current character, such as character stats, knowledge, items, and proficiencies. At times, results may rely on luck. I guess this is a thing? Yes, the fresh air. As you explore the mine, you suddenly feel a gentle breeze coming from above. Wait, wind? In the cave? As you look up, you see a tiny hole in the cave ceiling and opening to the outside world. The fresh air from the world outside rejuvenates you, and you end up deciding to use the opportunity to take a short rest. It's not much, but lets everyone relax socially a bit. So we all get plus two HP. Uh, there's some enemies here. Creature behavior. Different creatures you encounter underground will have different behaviors. Some may be docile and peaceful. For example, blue crystal shrimp attack in response to being attacked. However, hunting creatures like this might give other benefits. For example, they may drop different useful items to give experience or help you finish goals. So in other words, we are going to attack them. Build. We're gonna... Ow! Because I'm so nice like that. Um, cool down. Yeah, I, I figured this one out. Easiest between rest is the amount of times can be okay between resting or returning to the overworld. All right. Um, you want to move here? Oh, well, I'll just attack you, I guess. Um, you're gonna want to go there. What? Oh, I'm like just trying to click it to attack it. It's not working. You need to move in range to hit yet. Alright. Wait. Seriously? I can't hit this thing? You know it's right there? Oh, right. I did that thing again. The thing where I'm like, yeah, I can't hit it. No, I'm trying to click it. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, I can hit you now. You piercing. At least that was end. Okay, so that one's dead. I'm gonna go ahead and move you up here so you can go stabby. That was end. Cool, we are out of combat. Nothing. Ooh, consume next to a built bonfire. Cool. Ascending. Elevators lead to send further below to the next floor, but beware, the lower you go, the more dangerous it becomes. All characters need to stand on the elevator before, before you be able to activate it. Um. So that's the elevator. Let's. Okay, so there's just a button if I need to go back. Nothing back here, so yes, we descend because there's nothing else here. I apparently did not explore everything because there is this room. Is there anything in the elevator room? Our bandits. All right, so you are gonna go here and hit that bandit. You're gonna go pew. And you are not gonna use your good one. No, oh, I should have hit the other one. Only overcut by one damage. I'm sure, it's fine. Yeah, one stunned. Why would you do this? Oh, I need to go stabby. Um, do you do more damage? Yes, but I... Oh, there is friendly fire! I've discovered a friendly fire! Help! <laughs> Oh, 
Um, I mean, now that I kind of friendly fired that guy, let's uh, on fire. Oh, I need to do it back here. No! Okay, we need to do it back here. No, not attack. Ball on fire. Now we have a ball- No, now we have a ball on fire. Move all cards to the ball on fire and select the rest action. And adjacent! Oh, there was an item anyway I need to pick up. Um, deconstruct, so I can rest. Ah, resting. Let's be a turkey leg. Find an empty stomach. All right. So that was all my stuff. Go deeper. I think this place will be safe for the trading caravans once again someday. Maybe. I do know that there is a little shrimpy guy over here, though. Oh, there's multiple little shrimpy guys. There you go. Ha! Ah. Attack! Okay, let's save the use. Attack! Maze that work, but take okay, what you can get, I guess. My dark. Okay. Stefan is there in the turn order. Attack. Yeah, turn based rogue like this. Road light is uh, interesting. Stop stacking! I see a unit has been hit with the same status twice! Another girl's status effects don't stack. However, her status can be lengthened, and has a two-turn bleed and attack by five turns bleed. They will not have, now bleed for five turns, replaced by your number. Plus, the damage of status effects and their length. Okay. is in the way. Let me turn. Two. This is done. Okay. Actually, let's done it. Ah! Stunned. I got. Ah, that's good. Maybe here and have you do piercing. So there's no like back attack damage. It looks like. Saying grief. Need one turn left. Oh no, I'm dying. Running away, playing. If things get too tough and you worry about this new character, you can run away. If I have an iron units, are enough from combat where you can flee. Use it by pressing the flea button at the top right of your screen. White flag. Return the flea has a 30% chance to work. If it's successful, make characters drop all of their inventory items. Return to the overworld. Sometimes the only option to avoid losing your characters. How they just like kill the enemies and don't lose them that way? I like this option. I am kinda hurt. All parts of trains. Looks like some characters are pretty beat up. Main way to heal and restore your characters' abilities and health is to build a bonfire. So you have a combat and build one using fire with locks. Keep in mind, bonfires require space, can't be placed on obstacles or walls. Make sure your characters have food too so they can heal and restore their abilities. Try to if you don't have any fire, wood logs, and you're worried about losing your characters since you're returning the overworld by pressing the return to overworld button out of combat. Honestly, let's get these items. Take all. Oh, that's just a character. Nothing here. The grass is freaky! Um. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna go back because 
Those hurt. First thing you wear is just a huge crowd waiting for your turn to shower you with gifts, and you spend the day sharing tales about the mines and your adventures. Plus one noble standing, plus one color standing. Until you come polluted, bustling bazaar deep within, you find a smith who, to whom you sell the silver ink that you found and receive ten crowns. These are the managing areas of inventory as uh, warehouse unlocked. Inventory as well as discarding unnecessary items. Armory unlocked. These purchase additional equipment weapons for your expedition numbers. So armory... I only have 30 crowns though. That's for efficiency. Requires no proficiency to use. Oh, it gives plus two initiative. Ooh. I like this. I should get healing. I like this. There's more health and strength. Bye. He's back to his character. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, you're gonna take that, and you're gonna take that, I guess. But I think for now, oh, it's your warehouse. Oh, warehouse. Here you can manage your characters in the guild's inventory. When you return from exhibitions, your items end up here. If higher characters in the guild building can inspect your inventory and equipment when clicking on the bag button. Oh, so if I just do that, it does a lot faster. Cool. Alright. How do I... Oops. There we go. Back. Guild. Hire. Oh. Cool. So I can hire more people with the no money I have. Upgrade. Maximum roster. Upgrade. Wait. Two crowns for each discarded item. Market. Not upgrade the market. Uh, ground for the first time in 500 years. I did. Thank you. Um. This random equipment slot, or additional random equipment slot, and common equipment increases price. Okay. That seems nice too, but I'm actually broke. So I think that will do it for now though. Um that was another guild. Um I do some show some random runs. We'll see. See how it goes. Again, this is an early access. Again, thank you to the developer for the code for the game. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing if you really enjoyed it. Consider supporting the channel. All support really helps you keep being content like this and more. I'm links for that in the description below, along with links to me on social media. So thank you again for watching, and until next time, this is Rinny MT signing out. Bye!